Hello and welcome to the SKU Savvy YouTube channel. Thank you for returning and or coming in here. Today we are going to talk about something that I think doesn't get enough attention on the Shopify forums and in e-commerce forums, etc. Which is within your Shopify store, you have potentially multiple locations and the balance of inventory in those locations is very important, especially as volume increases. You want to keep your inventory closest to the locations that your customers are shopping from. Uh, and oftentimes there is a pattern with where your customers come from. And so what I'm going to help you do today is understand that a little bit further and how you can use that to help balance your inventory around your different warehouse or store locations. As you can see within here, I am looking at a ABC analysis by product for our SKU Savvy test store. Now, as you can see, I have zoomed into A grade items, but I could zoom out and get our B grade and C grade items as well to see overall how much inventory do I have in each of these separate graded items. Now, these are graded according to their volume of sales. And so what we're gonna really focus on is your A grade items. Now, there's a trend that you know typically your top 20 percent of sales by volume are going to be your a grade items um, and most of the sales that happen within your store are going to come from those a grade items so those make up a high percentage of your overall sales volume but then you have the c grade items which are these long tail items which you carry a lot of inventory for it costs you to carry that but it doesn't necessarily mean that you shouldn't carry it, uh, just means that it's moving slower um, and is not quite as important to keep the inventory records as accurate and under control as your A-grade items. So something that we're going to consider here is where we're balancing our inventory. Now, as you can see, when I expand the scope of this filter, it gives us a lot of information in terms of which product by volume has sold the most. Um, and we can see that these are graded according to the scale of that. Let's zoom in again to our A grade items. And we're going to really focus in on these. So the next report that I'm going to open up to cross compare this is our sales by location. So if you go into your reports and go to customers, we're actually looking at the customer um, by location. Now we can see that if we expand out the time horizon, that most of our orders come from Vermont and Texas, which happens to be where our team is located and also where we do test orders from. So as you can see in the right column here, we have the highest the sorted by dollar amount of each location uh, with you know states and cities in this case and sorting down from there um, after that we have texas so the logical conclusion here is that we're getting most of our sales from vermont in this case now with a much wider distribution across a lot more locations uh, it does get slightly more complicated however usually there's going to be that standout location uh, and or several states that is most important to be located by. Uh, this is why you see a huge population of warehouses, large logistics centers going in. Pennsylvania is because they're located so close to the Eastern Seaboard, which is New Jersey City, New York City. You have Boston, uh, you have a lot of major metropolitan areas. And so many companies that are distributing need to be somewhere close to there. And so they go to Pennsylvania. In your case, when you're looking across the locations as well as your A grade items, what you're really gonna wanna do is if you have two different locations and one happens to be closer to the primary regions that you're distributing to, you're gonna wanna stock more of the A grade items within that location in your warehouse. So as you can see here, I've connected SKU Savvy. Uh, if you're not familiar, SKU Savvy is a full Shopify-based warehouse management system. So it will 
help you organize inventory throughout your warehouse, as well as manage the pick, pack, and ship flow uh, across lo multiple locations. So in this case, we've got two different warehouses here set up. And these warehouses are also listed out within my Shopify store. So if I go into a warehouse, what you're going to want to do over time is start balancing your inventory according to the ABC analysis, as well as your locations to begin bringing inventory over to the primary location for which that customer set has been ordering the most of that product. Um, in this case, we're most concerned with the a grade items and so that's what we're going to start stocking more within the inventory of our warehouse closest to our customer base so how can you take advantage of both of these pieces of information the first thing that you're going to want to do uh, and we have gone through this in other videos is to decide which locations you're going to primarily use for fulfillment now within shopify if you go into your locations you can see that you know in here I have two different locations. You might have more. You're really going to want to pay attention to the default location, which is where your apps will use when another location is specified. So this is going to default most of the orders, most of the action that's happening, most of your inventory fulfillment, um, all of that to this primary selected warehouse. The second setting here is the location priority. And so the location priority is the priority that the orders should be delivered to, sent off to, right? Order allocation. So within here, if, for instance, the majority of your stores are coming from a city near Allen, Texas, in this case, then what you're going to want to do is move the priority of this location up to the top. Uh, and over time, if you aren't already, start storing more more of the a-class items in this location um, and so that way you have usually lower shipping costs uh, you'll be turning that inventory faster uh, and it will generally be easier to manage uh, and cost less there are advanced routing rules and within SKU savvy there are a few additional routing rules to help distribute the orders because within Shopify, uh, as well as when those orders come into SKU Savvy, for instance, uh, which is controlling in this case, the inventory and warehouse management, uh, as well as the fulfillment of orders within this store, there is a case that can arise when your order actually gets split across those two different locations. And by default, Shopify handles this by splitting the order according to which location you have inventory available. So for instance, if I pull up the location priorities here, if I have an order that was sent to SKU Savvy as the closest warehouse, and we did not have inventory there for one of the items within that order, by default, Shopify will send this order off to the Austin warehouse with the specific item that was not able to be fulfilled from the Savvy warehouse here. So this is happening by default with these settings here. Um, and that's also how we bring inventory, uh, sorry, orders into SKU Savvy as those are distributed coming from here within your Shopify store down. Now, the second component to this is where you actually bring that inventory into your warehouse. Um, as you can see, I've got some product here, but what I want to bring to your attention is the layout view, which is, you know, where you would actually be stocking the inventory. Uh, if this is your primary shipping zone down here, and you know that from your A-class items you have 10 different SKUs, what you really should aim for is to have those 10 SKUs listed uh, closest to the shipping area. That way, especially within here when we're batching orders together, this will require less work to go out um, and get that product from the shelves themselves. Now, there are also ways in, especially within SKU Savvy, but uh, other warehouse management systems as well that enable you to do a bin replenishment rules, uh, which would automatically move holding stock for your A-class items over to the pick stock within your warehouse. Again, that would move it up to the front, let's say, if your holding stock was in here uh, in the back. Another thing that I wanna bring up is the transfer of inventory. Uh, so for instance, if you happen to have 
transfers between those two warehouses, you can bring product from one to the other. Uh, and that way you're enabling those, especially on the A and B class items, you're enabling that stock to move from one of your locations and consistently replenish the stock at your primary location, which is closest to your customers. So this can additionally, you know, be accomplished with your inventory management system, uh, where you actually have a workflow to bring that inventory from one warehouse to another. So that's going to be the closing for this particular chat uh, about rebalancing your inventory and a few indicators to look at uh, when you are considering where to place your inventory. If you haven't already, make sure you sign up for a SKU Savvy account. It's free for 50 orders or less per month and you get everything included that you see here. So be sure to stop by skewsavvy.com forward slash register, create your, your account and connect your Shopify store to get started. Hopefully that was helpful and we'll have a few more videos coming out here shortly. So stay tuned for those and we'll see you next time.